the process of formation of endospores is called sporulation or sporogenesis it starts when the growth of vegetative cells stops due to the lack of nutrients or other environmental stress the process completes in several steps formation of axial filament of nuclear material of the vegetative cell the inward folding of cell membrane to enclose the replicated dna and form four spore septum the membrane grows and engulfs the four spore in a second membrane cortex is formed between the two membranes and dipicolinic acid along with the calcium ions accumulation spore coats are synthesized around the cortex the endospore matures the sporangium is destroyed by the lytic enzymes to release the mature endospore the entire process requires several hours under favorable environmental conditions the endospores are transformed from the dormant state to the active vegetative cell stage this process is called germination the process is rapid and requires few minutes it is actually a complex process involving the following stages a activation b germination and c outgrowth even under favorable environmental conditions like the presence of a nutrient rich medium the spore may not germinate unless it is activated this activation generally results from heating germination breaks the dormant condition of the spore during the germination the spore swells ruptures or absorbs its spore coat loses the resistance to heat and other environmental stresses and becomes metabolically active presence of nutrients like amino acids sugars etc stimulate the process of germination the third stage after germination that is outgrowth involves the formation of new vegetative components by the spore protoplast this then emerges from the spore coat and forms an active vegetative cell which grows by binary fission germination is accompanied by the loss of refractility and the loss of heat resistance and increased ability to be stained by dyes dipicolinic acid and calcium ions are lost and the small acid soluble proteins also undergo degradation